Look at what I got in the mail today. Do you guys want to see inside? Do you know what's inside? Look at that gold packaging. What do you think? Hello, people. It is finally fall here in Florida. Holy cow. It was like 65 degrees this morning. Okay, so today I have a few things that I need to do. Um, I already went to the gym and took a shower. I, I blow dried my hair for like the first time in forever. And um, I it might go straight into a ponytail as soon as the sun comes out and like heats up the earth. Um, but I went to the gym this morning. Did I already say that? I climbed a hundred floors. I wanna Google like how tall a hundred stories is and just just for like in my brain to see how many floors I climbed this morning. Um, so that was fun. And then I also, for added fun, I ran a mile. So it was a good workout this morning. Um, and then Alex is off running a bunch of errands and doing some work. And I need to, I, I'm with Wentworth. And before I pick up the girls from school, I have to go to Joanne Fabrics and um, finish up our Halloween costumes, buy stuff to make Eleanor's birthday invitations. Wentworth just climbed out the door. I'm like staring at him. What did you just do, son? What was I saying? What, what else do I need to do today? I feel like there's so much I need to do. Oh, I want to run into Michael's and get frames for this wall. Start picking out pictures to put in the frames. And where'd he go? Okay, and there's a Halloween event tonight. So hopefully I can get everything I need done before the Halloween event tonight so we can enjoy ourselves. Look, Wentworth's in a little sweater. Isn't he yeah. cute? You look so cute today. All right, so join me while I run some errands. Okay guys, while I'm waiting at this light, let me explain to you what the heck just happened this morning. So Alex had to take my car, the van, because he's picking something big up on the way home, an accent chair, but which probably won't happen now because he initially, we had to fit tables in there that we were gonna drop off, but we're not dropping off, so he's probably not gonna have room for the accent chair. Short story long, he has my diaper bag, which also has my backpack and Wentworth's baby carrier in it. And what else, like my life, my purse, my wallet, my money. So I was like, oh my gosh, it took me 10 minutes to like put a new diaper bag together, get my life straight. Oh, the car seat is in the van, so I had to find our spare car seat. It was a mess. But you know what? I pulled it together, figured it all out because it could have been worse. He could have like taken the key to this car, <laughs> which I'm glad he didn't. Oh my gosh. But finally, we are on our way to Joanne's two hours later. Here's all the crap I collected around my house, running around like a mad woman. Snack for me, snack for Wentworth. Have you guys tried these? Well, not you. If you have kids, have you tried them? Um, they're really good. He loves them. Some wipes, diapers, and my Joanne list and some money. Oh my gosh, guys. Does your husband or anyone do this? Do you do this? Can you even see I'm trying to get good lighting in there? This was a bag. Alex just eats all the nuts out of it. There's a few down there, but it's mostly just the dried fruit now, which I don't mind, but I want to eat them together. Of course, Wentworth fell asleep, and the car seat barely fit in the cart. It looks like I'm. I don't, it looks like I'm crazy. Do you guys do this? I don't know. I I baby carry him everywhere. <laughs> what do you guys think for my ottoman? A print or a solid? And then I'm looking for like pillows. Oh, that's so pretty, but it d definitely doesn't match. Or like maybe a blanket. I don't know. So many choices. It's pretty. They're stocking up for Christmas. It's that time of year, guys. Christmas is two months away. I think today, yesterday. <laughs> Close enough. All right, so I don't want to say that was a waste of time, but so what did I buy? I, I left Joanne's with nothing. I left my cart. I just, the problem is I get so overwhelmed with when, when I'm presented with way too many options that I just, I just said forget about it and the line to cut fabric was at least 15 people long and I just didn't want to wait in that. So, and it's like, what is today? Wednesday afternoon? Weird. 
So I went to the Halloween store right next door. Yellow tights for Alex for his Hey Hey costume. I don't think they're gonna fit him. It says it fits 125 to 160 pounds. But that's all they had. The, and then this stuff was double the price of normal green face paint. Aveline needs it for Tafiti. Um, but the normal green was a little darker. But if I knew this was twice the price, I would have just gone with normal green. Know what I mean? Anyway, disappointed that I'm leaving Joann's. I even went, I have to, I bought an ottoman, but it's like deconstructed and I want to put my own cover on it. And I bought the needle to like tough it, tuft, tuft, whatever it's called. You know what I mean? Those little like gaps. The pulls, it makes it look nice, I think. And so I got everything together and then I went to cut the fabric and I was like, I am not waiting in this line. So I put the fabric back and left. Maybe I'll come back when I know for sure what color I want. I think I want blue. What do you guys think? Should I go with a print? That, But I feel like a print might clash with the, um, the carpet. I don't know. We'll see. So I think right now I'm going to go home and just watch This Is Us. <laughs> and I forgot to tell you, they didn't have cards like blank cards to get to so I can make birthday invitations so I have to just go to Michael's which I didn't want to do but I kind of wanted to do because I need to buy frames from Michael's so I guess I'm going to Michael's <laughs> it's the most wonderful time of the year <laughs> I'm so distracted now I don't even know what I came for oh look at it Steve Hey, it's true. All right, found them. I think these will do. It's not the exact color I want, but beggars can't be choosers. Check this out, they're on oh. sale. Whoa, that's what I'm gonna get. I was just gonna come like four times and use the coupon. This is awesome. Oh my god. So adorable. Look how cute that stuff is. <laughs> For real. Well, at least this trip was a success. Got some frames, a lot of frames, and invitation stuff. All right, here's the dilemma I'm faced with. We have 30 minutes to kill before we have to pick up Avelina and Eleanor. So I might go to Nutrition Smart and look at some essential oils or buy some food. <laughs> I don't know, 30 minutes, Wentworth. What do you want to do? He, he doesn't care. Oh my gosh, breaking news, guys. So cute. So I taught Wentworth the sign for more, and I opened up my bag to put my camera away, and he saw his little treats in there. Wentworth, Wentworth. Oh, he won't do it, but he did it, and it was so cute. I'm bummed I missed it. It's the first time he, like, he's communicating. He's getting so big. Please, make it stop. Oh man, guys, so I got the kids. They're outside playing. I can't even express to you. I'm pooped. So I have to make my Halloween costume. I'm gonna be a Kukamora, Kukabora, Kakamora, whatever. I'm gonna be a coconut. It's gonna be great. So I'm gonna make that real quick. As in real quick, I mean, it's probably gonna take me like an hour. <laughs> okay, here's my costume inspiration, this poor guy. Um, I kind of wanted to be this shiny crab because I'd rather be shiny. So let me show you what I got for my costume so far. Here's what I found for it so far. So I just have leggings in here. Let me pull those out. And then this shirt I found at Salvation Army, but it has the original tags on this. Who wouldn't wear this gem? <laughs> mm -hmm. If you could see the texture, it's like that crazy texture. So it's so funny, right? I thought, I thought it looked like a, uh, a coconut. It's kind of perfect, right? right? People, this actually took me like 10 minutes to put together. Pretty impressed. So simple, right? So I just used some scrap felt that I had. I had a couple pieces up there and I literally used what I had, right? And just made the face, red ribbon, boom. Kookaburra, here I come. Look at what I got in the mail today. Do you guys want to see inside? Do you know what's inside? Look at that gold packaging. What do you think? <laughs> Guys, there's proof that I have friends. Your friends at Lara Bar. Lara Bar! It's addressed right to me! 
Okay, so I went to Laura Bar Well, okay, so I emailed Laura Bar. Well, first, I went around everywhere looking for these limited edition kinds. Well, there's only a couple of them. But I couldn't find them anywhere for, I don't know, it's been like a month where everyone has been like, oh, I tried it. And I'm like, I can't find mine. So I wrote them and asked if they could send me some samples. And they did, guys. Oh, my gosh. So I asked for those. And then, well, I asked for all of these. And then they just sent me these for fun. Oh, can you believe it? Oh, my gosh. I feel so, I'm so thankful, so thankful. Can't wait to try them. I'll let you guys know how they are. Okay, so here's, if you can't see it, snickerdoodle, pecan pie, pecan pie, pumpkin pie, gingerbread, what? And then this is a nut and seed one. Um, crunchy bar, what's that? Dark chocolate, and then these are the bites that I love, but I've never had this kind before. What is it? Cherry, focus, cherry chocolate chip. This is like green apple. Yep, and then apple pie, cashew cookie, and chocolate really chip cookie dough. Pie. That's what I'm saying. Okay, so long. final verdict here. Alex and I just taste tested uh, the special edition ones. Snickerdoodle was good. Pecan pie, I think, is my favorite. Pumpkin pie, like, tastes like cloves. There's a heavy cinnamon flavor in that, heavy clove flavor in this. And then gingerbread, I don't know. What do you think of it, Alex? It's good. Did it taste like a gingerbread though? It was okay. It was, I mean, it was good. I would eat it again. But I don't know what a real gingerbread tastes like, I guess. Ginger? But it wasn't too strong of a ginger. And then this one was really good. I haven't tried the rest. People, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I always say, well, not always say, but, um, when I run errands, especially when I'm like clothes shopping and stuff, I'm like, man, I wish I had my family up north. That's like their favorite thing to do is go shopping. And sometimes I want someone to go shopping with. So I'm glad I got to go shopping with you today. And I don't know. Let me know your opinions about the fabric down below. I think in my mind I've settled on. I want like a, a rich blue color for my ottoman. But I kind of want like a velvety texture. Right? Would that be nice? That clash with the, I mean, it, they're all neutral colors. I think royal blue would like bring some color. I think that's what we're going to do. But I, I couldn't find that kind of fabric there. So I don't know. Wish me luck finding something. Maybe I'll find something online. Probably do that. Bye, guys. <laughs>